Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and today I want to present you Overrider, an upcoming impressive action game and also a sponsor of this video. You'll blast through a world overrun by machines in a modern hoverboarding adventure inspired by the classics. I think a lot of us have nostalgia for games like that, and developers had the same thing in mind. You can already try free demo version on Steam right now, and also the main thing Overrider is live on Kickstarter right now, so it's your chance to become a backer. You will find a link in the description and in the first pinned comment below, and you can use it as an opportunity to say someday, hey, I helped this game to become a reality. It is a very satisfying feeling, not much can compare with that. Also by backing the project you will get many rewards. So I have been playing this game for a past few days and I can assure you that it is as fun as it looks. You will control a character on a powerful hoverboard able to smoothly glide above the surface of terrain. Reminds me of Back to the Future movies, that's for sure. So the game's main core is a fluid hoverboarding mechanic which when mastered becomes your most powerful tool in every situation the game throws at you. You will have multiple skills, traits and trick shots that will help you overcome various challenges. For example, the board can perform a rotor shift. This reverses the airflow so you can dive down instantly and gather momentum on slopes. If you learn to utilize it properly, you will become blazing fast. Also, believe you me, this is a real skill you have to master, it's not easy. At least it wasn't for me. So it challenges you, and if you make everything right, the game rewards you with the speed of Flash or even Usain Bolt. No, I'm kidding, nobody can beat Mr. Bolt. So the world consists of huge open areas and you can go anywhere your eyes want. Well, usually I wanted to go up the ramps and jump high, and the game provides plenty of those. The danger, however, is always near. Evil robots conquer this beautiful land and you have to get rid of them, and they want to get rid of you, so the feeling is mutual. You'll engage enemies by bashing them at high speeds, stomping them with your hoverboard or hitting them with your homing attack. The faster you are, the more damage you deal. So be the fastest boy or girl around and show those robots who's the boss. Probably not you, but that will change the more you play. Fun thing is that every run is unique and the landscape is never the same. Procedurally generated levels and randomized items won't let you get bored, and this way you will never know where the adventure will take you. You will explore mountains and fields, and to abandon post-apocalyptic structures and uncover the secrets of the new world. And those are plenty, you will discover and craft many gadgets, mods and boosts. The items you equip define the way you play, gain movement speed, combat abilities and shape your own unique hoverboarding style. Fun thing is that if you get killed here, you'll lose your gadgets, but then you'll get restored, new and shiny. That is because of the nature of this land. Plot twist, you are in a digital world called the grid, and it stores infinite copies copies of you. Each run begins with you preparing inside the starting area. During your runs, various things can be unlocked like a gun, grapple hook or grenades. While in the starting area, you can select the loadout you wish to use for the next run, or as I call it, for the next fun. Because controlling hoverboard and smashing evil robots to bits is an amazing brain relaxing feeling. Yeah, you don't really need to worry about the plot, just relax and have fun. Let your fingers do the job. The grid can also be upgraded for permanent advantage. This could unlock more item slots on your suit, more items in the fabricators, healing when traveling to different nodes and many more. I tried to play Overrider with my PS5 controller at first and later I tried it with mouse and keyboard, and I can honestly say that it was a perfectly smooth experience each way. So if you don't have a controller, it is not necessary. Mouse look works just fine and the keyboard is as responsive as the buttons of the controller. I really had no issues. Also, at the beginning the game seemed easy and you will instantly feel like a master already. But that will pass, some enemies are really hard to beat. And by some enemies I mean that you will encounter bosses with way bigger health pool than usual robots and if you are not careful you will end like me, you know, pretty much dead. Although every death just increases motivation and the will to become better at this game. And I can agree, I was playing it non-stop for hours. So reminder, the game is on Kickstarter right now, press the link in the description or in the first pinned comment below and think about becoming a backer. A noble deed with great benefits. Even the smallest pledge will help developers to march forward and deliver us this great action game. You can also try Overrider just as I did, absolutely free on Steam. Demo version is available for anyone who wants to have fun. Just make sure you have enough time, the game may hook you up seamlessly for a few hours, or even more like it did to me. And now, thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time.